Hello and welcome to my channel Disabled People or commonly known as Disabled People's Project DPP uh, where we celebrate uh, disabled people on each episode through past and present the amazing work they do and about their disability and today we're focusing on Sue Townsend. Sue Townsend is an author and playwright from Leicester in the UK. Last year marked the 40th anniversary of the Diary of Adrian Mole 13 and 3 quarters with sequel editions that received international critical acclaim. Sue has also written many other important fiction books which present important social and political issues of the time. For example, The Queen and I and The Public Confessions of a Middle-Aged Woman Aged 55 and 3 Quarters. Sue had an incredible skill of using humour through her work, making the reader howl and want more. Unfortunately, Sue died in 2014, aged 68, from a stroke. Sue had a number of disabilities later in life, including diabetes, which caused complications to her sight. She was later a wheelchair user and suffered a stroke. She helped people with diabetes research and was a patron and was involved with many charities, including sight loss. Sue's life before being an author doesn't get talked about a lot. Whilst writing Adrian Mole, Sue lived on the Ayres Monsell council estate in Leicester. She was a single parent before meeting her long-term partner. Sue's real-life experience of hardship and adversity comes across in her writing, which a reader from all backgrounds can relate to. Sue was a youth worker on the Saffron Lane estate, commonly known as a Saff in Leicester. Last year, I wrote and talked about how Sue knew my nan, and Sue later uh, wrote with a Leicester Mercury journalist a special magazine edition, which was an obituary-style two-page article about my nan. Sue wrote in it, If anything went wrong with the estate, we always sent for winner. The truth is, though, much of the amazing innovative community work done on the SAF in the 1970s was a collective effort, started by many mums in the area, which many families got involved in, which they can learn about from in common day times. Recently, I spent many hours in the University of Leicester archive, which has an extensive collection of Sue Townsend stuff. Many people from around the world have written to Sue saying thank you for sharing your experiences. It has helped me, whether that be about class issues, disability or general life. The photo shown here is by de local artist in Leicester. Frank Davy has given permission for me to share this and his, and his brilliant artwork can be found in the uh, links on the comments section, including the, the charities and about Sue's work. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.